An important consideration when choosing exercises is utility. And when I say utility, I'm referring to an exercise's ability to serve several functions. How much does an exercise aid in the performance of other exercises in the weight room? By improving the performance of one exercise, do other exercises also get better? Or is the exercise you're performing just a one-trick pony? An example of an exercise with high utility is something like an RDL. All sorts of people with way different goals find RDLs to be useful. Sprinters, weightlifters, bodybuilders, general fitness enjoyers. RDLs train a large amount of muscle mass. They keep your hamstrings strong for sprinters to prepare them for the stress of sprinting. They help weightlifters strengthen their pulls. RDLs can be a great way to train for grip strength and they give you a meaty backside. If you improve your RDL strength, many other things will also probably improve. Another way to think about exercise utility is to think about the exercises that you care about the most and then ask yourself when selecting other exercises, how similar is this movement pattern compared to the exercise that I care about? How similar are the loads being used? How similar are the ranges of motion? Is the equipment that you're using the same? If they're all pretty similar, the utility of the exercise is probably pretty high. Or another question you can ask yourself is, is the exercise that I'm choosing aid in the performance of only one other exercise? Or does it help with multiple other exercises? And now these answers can be different for everybody, but exercise utility is definitely something to consider. And if you want an example of an exercise that I think has low utility, I think a good example is a trap bar deadlift. You don't use that same piece of equipment for other exercises. The range of motion for a trap bar deadlift is way shorter than a regular deadlift or a squat. I think the loads being used in a trap bar deadlift are sort of artificially high. Holding the trap bar doesn't train grip in the same way as a barbell because it doesn't roll on you. I have really low confidence saying that someone with a strong trap bar deadlift is going to be strong in other exercises. But that's just my opinion and that's just one example. Find which exercises bring the most utility for you in your situation.